All right, let's go over in crude oil. Let me uh, move this over a little bit. This is yesterday's setups. I don't want to cover what we're looking at right now, but um, let's go over what uh, what we want to do. Move this over a little bit so you can see it. There we go. All right, so we have a trend chart. This is the, the number one chart you want to look at, guys and gals. Uh, we have two uh, setups that we want to look for. We want to look for a retracement setup, and then we want to look for a momentum setup. So you want to make it easy every day on yourself. I don't care what you look at. We have a lot of traders uh, that trade um, not uh, outside this room that trade different markets. They trade uh, stocks, uh, even ETFs. You have all kinds of futures, currency markets. It doesn't matter what you trade. It's the same exact setup. Whatever you trade, this is exactly how you want to, want to look at approaching the markets. We have a trend chart built into our Renko bar. This is a very important chart for you to understand because this is going to give you your bias every single day to stay on the right side of the market. That is key. Before, we just used market profile, and market profile now, since we have a trend chart that is so dynamic, we can use market profile for confluence instead of just using it for trend direction. So now we can use our trend chart. So this is, a, this is the chart that you want to use to find out what your bias is. So crude oil today, our bias is down again. We're looking for sell setups. But let's look at yesterday, and I want to go over the exact two setups. I don't want to make this video very long because I want to get into today's trading. So the best way to approach this chart is this, is that you want to look at the uh, red and green candles. The red and green candles, that's the open versus close. Don't look at the wicks. The wicks are, are not as important as the open versus close, the body of the candle. I got three moving averages on there, and moving averages are worthless by nature. We all know that. I always talk about that. We don't use them for support and resistance. We don't use them for um, crossover systems. We use them for trend direction. So when you look at that trend chart, if you're below all three MAs, you're in the hardest trend of the day, meaning yesterday we were in a hard, hard move down. Very easy to pick off trades yesterday. We were four for four in the morning on two retracement trades and two momentum trades. How do we pick those apart? Well, the trend chart, the easy way to do is look at that small MA. If you see that small MA, the open versus close on the body of the candle was below it all morning. As long as we don't close 90% candle close above that small MA, then the trend is down. Or if it closes back above 90% candle, the trend could reverse up. But as long as, it, as we're, we're below it and your MAs are crossed, you're in a hard downtrend. But that's not enough. We want to find out when to get into these trades. We want a major heads up when to fire in these trades. The best way to do it is there's one. Uh, the first setup we have is called a retracement trade. If the trend is down and you're below all three MAs or even below just this one smaller MA and we get a green bar reversal when the trend is down, that tells you the counter trend traders are in or even a pause in the market like this, a big thin vertical line. That tells you that we have counter trend traders entering the market. And as we know, counter trend traders continue, continually uh, fail to find the lows or highs in the market because they try to catch the lows and try to catch the highs, which just does not work. No one can predict the market on catching the lows and highs. There's no indicator that can predict that. So we know we're going to catch the wrongly positioned traders. So as soon as it closes in an indecision bar like this, or mainly a green reversal bar, I want to start looking at my 5 sim Fibonacci chart to look for trade setups. So I'm going to start staring at this 5 sim Renko. This is one which I have a 5, I call it the 5 sim Renko, a Renko a chart that we have a template set up for you. I want to stare at the red dots. The red dots are going to tell me in a downtrend where price should come up to, as far as a retracement trade when the bar turns green. When I mean the bar turns green, turns green, it's, it's, it changed green here for the first time. So that tells me that the wrongly positioned traders are getting in against the trend. That's when you want to look for a retracement trade, period. Very simple, easy to understand. So I want to see on these red dots, I have my symmetry dots here. Now symmetry dots by themselves are absolutely worthless. I cannot trade them by themselves because it just tells me where uh, support and resistance may come in, but by themselves, they don't tell you what trend direction is. So you can't just buy and sell off these symmetry dots. 
doesn't work that way. You have to know when the counter trend traders are coming in with the trend chart when they close opposite color candle and you want to be resting against that, you want to be below that smaller MA. That's going to put you in the best optimal chance to win when you come up against my red resistance dots or blue support dots. That I only have these on the five sim chart for you on the templates. So this is the only time I look for a retracement trade on this chart, period. So if I'm in a downtrend like this on my trend chart, if it cl closes opposite color candle, then I want to look at my five sim Renko chart, and it did over here in a live trade here this morning. We did it twice, right here and right here. We had two cells. Here's a cell set up at 70. Here's a cell set up at 54. We had two cell setups already this morning in a downtrend because my trend chart was in a downtrend. We'll, we'll go over that stuff this morning, what we're looking for in a minute. But you can see that when we close green bar reversal, then that was the high right here on my first arrow. So I want to see the market tick back up, tick, 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 tick back up, come within two ticks of my red symmetry dots. I want to see an arrow that fires, a red Fibonacci arrow. These arrows will not fire unless you're in the optimal spot in the market to go short or a green arrow will fire if you're in optimal position to go long. So then the market goes down, tick, 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 and it breaks through my low of my symmetry dots here. I'll go over the momentum trade next. Let's go to the next retracement trade. I know I'm in a position for another retracement trade yesterday morning when we're four for four because we broke through symmetry again. But look what happened to my trend chart. We had another pause in the market, big vertical line. It could be a green reversal bar or a pause. I knew to look for a five sim trade again, meaning off my symmetry. What's the market do? Sure enough, tick, 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 tick back up. My second circle, my, my circle right here, it fired a red uh, Fibonacci arrow within two ticks of symmetry, and that was the next entry, and we started moving down. So that's what's happened this morning. That's also if you look at the market this morning. If I look at the market this morning, I broke through symmetry over here. I retested within two ticks. And I got negative market delta. Now, if it doesn't fire arrow here, that's okay as long as you're in a hard downtrend and you got a opposite color um, uh, counter trend traders come to the market. If it comes within two ticks, minimum two ticks of these symmetry dots, you get negative market delta. You can sell it right here. So that's a sell. Then we broke through symmetry this morning again. We retested within two ticks. That's a sell right there with, uh, with your red Fibonacci arrow. So we had two back-to-back -back winners this morning, and we had four back-to-back -back winners yesterday. Now, that is a retracement trade. So if I look at this morning's trade, if I look at this morning's trade, the trend chart is what? The trend chart is in a downtrend. We've been in a downtrend since when? We've been in a downtrend since the 90% body of the candle close on this trend chart. So we've been in a downtrend since this candle right here. Now the wicks don't count. Remember I just said that? Look how we broke through the high, broke through the high of the small candle, a small moving average, broke through the high. It's okay. Didn't close 90% candle close, so if you took any longs this morning on crude, you're totally wrong. Since 4.39 or 4.40 this morning, if you took any longs on crude, you're absolutely going against the professional traders. You're totally opposite the traders, the professional traders, and this is where traders get their butts handed to them. They're trading against the overall tone of the market. The trend is down. The trend was up coming into 4 o'clock this morning, so we're bias up. Every since this 90% candle closed, actually it was uh, started yesterday, so it's been in an uptrend all day. There was an arrow there to go long, but now this is short. So your optimal time to go short this morning in today's trading was when it turned green, that green candle. Even though you're above these two moving averages, you're below your small. That called the high of the market with my symmetry dots, and then tick back down, tick 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 tick. Red bar, green bar reversal. Green bar reversal means counter trend traders again coming in. What happened? This called the high, my symmetry dots. High of the market right here. Look over here. That called the high right there at 70. Look how symmetry stopped it when my counter trend traders got wrongly positioned. Then we came down again. Green bar reversal. Counter trend traders coming in again this morning. That caught the high. Right there I am. My beautiful, gorgeous Fibonacci arrow fired. And right there you now. So you're one, two, you're three for three again. We were four for four yesterday. Check it out. Now we're three for three on trend retracements. You can't screw this up even if even if you tried this morning, if you use this technique with the symmetry dots and my retracement reversals. So now we're in a downtrend. Now, 
That's one trade. That's called a retracement trade. That's called a retracement trade. Now, the second trade, what if, what if this happens? What happens like yesterday? Now, we've had three counter strength traders that got caught today. They got caught here. Green bar reversal on my trend chart. Got caught here. Good job, counter trend traders. Thank you for coming in the market, being wrongly positioned. Thank you, counter trend traders, coming here, wrongly positioned, going short right here. We're short right now, live in the market. So thank you for counter trend traders getting wrongly positioned. See, if you were looking at just moving averages, if you look at those moving averages, you say, hey, I'm in a hard uptrend, right? I'm in a big hard uptrend. Wrong. You're not in a hard uptrend. You're in a downtrend right now. So if you were looking at buying a retracement here at 75, it's our way down to 30. You're getting your butt kicked. That's how counter trend traders lose. They look at moving averages. They look at stochastics. They look at max, moving average, convergence, divergence. They look at all these lagging indicators. Our trend chart keeps us on the right side. So that's how you do retracement trading, by looking at the opposite color candle against the trend filter. Then we look at our sim dots to position us the area, look for errors to fire. We're good to go. Okay? Now, what happens if the market is too strong or too weak? Easy. What I like to do then is this. Hey, let's look at yesterday, what we did. What happens if we're all red like this? Red, red, red. We only had one green bar reversal. What if we're red all morning? Red, 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 red. They're marking the market down, marking the market down, marking the market down. That's okay because I'm smarter than my average trading opponent. I know not to look for a deep retracement. If I got red bars that are big, giant bars in my trend filter, and I'm away from my small MA, if I get space away from my small MA, and I'll show you in a second, space, see that space away from my small MA, the open versus close, space, then what I want to do is I want to look for what? I want to look for my intraday, uh, intra bar to tick back up, tick, 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 tick back up, touch my small MA, and then watch for my three sim Rinka bar, this one on the far right that's ticking live right here, to fire a Fibonacci candle. So I want the Fibonacci candle to fire, I mean the Fibonacci arrows to fire, when I touch, when I'm all red bars, not turning green, but I, if I see my, my trend chart tick back up and touch my smaller MA after getting space away from it, see my open versus close isn't even touching my small MA, and this works really great when you are below all three, above all three. They're called momentum trades. So my momentum trade happened yesterday on the three sim right here and right here, and we got cranked, just got cranked from it. It happened up here also. It was actually three trades for momentum, and so it was actually five for five yesterday morning, not four for four because it caught up one here also. So, but this is where I use the three sim Rinko, my smaller Rinko bar. I like to use that on momentum trades. If intra bar, if I'm red, 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 I don't get a green bar reversal to show me when the counter trend traders are coming in. I'm not looking for a deep retracement. I'm looking for a shallow retracement to come up and touch my small MA. That's when I take these arrows on the smaller time frame. Now, what you can do is this. What about the opposite side of symmetry? I have, you can also use your three sim arrow charts, the smaller arrows for this. It's called a break retest. If my trend chart, which it was yesterday in a hard downtrend, hard downtrend and we're trending down today also. Downtrend, 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 downtrend. Well, we know to take retracement trades when the opposite color green candle comes in for symmetry dots. Sell there, sell there. Very easy. We're two for two. Actually, three for three this morning on that. Retracement trade, retracement trade. Four for four yesterday. Retracement trade, retracement trade. So we know to do that. Opposite color candle. What if there's no opposite color candle on the trend chart? They're trying to mark the market down. Well, I'm smarter than my training opponents. I know that I just can't take deep retracements. I got shallow retracements. The best way to see when that happens is if you do this. If you break the opposite color of symmetry, when you break, if I got, if I have space with my trend filter, space, see the space? The open versus close are way away from my small MA. Remember, you can't trade these symmetry dots by themselves. You're going to get your butt kicked. You don't know when to get in. But you can get in with the five sim trades, opposite color candle against my trend. And you get the three sim trades, my Rinko bar over here, when you have space showing they're trying to mark the market down. So how can I do it? What I want to do is I want to see not only it touch the smaller MA intra bar candle when it's red and get three sim arrows short, I can see when the offset color symmetry dots break and retest. So what I'll do is, is I'll see, see how the, how the, how the uh, blue symmetry dots broke through, close below, 
and then I retested the blue, that's exactly where my three sim arrow fired, exactly on that retest. Then it came back up and tested my five sim. Then it broke down and broke my symmetry dots, broke down, retested my what? My symmetry again. I got a three sim trade that happened right there also. Then it came down and it, it tested symmetry and it came back up and it retested my retracement trade. Then it came down and this one got cranked before I, I this one got really cranked yesterday. It broke retested right here to the exact tick of my momentum trade. It was three for three of my momentum trades. To the exact tick, it stopped and had an arrow that fired on my 3SIM, and it got seriously cranked. I mean, it got seriously cranked. So if you don't look at this trade that happened yesterday, to show you what a retail, I was doing this live when it was coming up. I was drawing this up for traders in the room. If you want to see how much that got cranked, there is a retest trade right there. Right here, look at this. Look at that momentum trade right there, all on the break retest of my symmetry with trend direction on my ninth, on my uh, trend chart. As soon as that retested that live in the room yesterday, I put a box right there live. How did I know that's a spot to go short? And look what happened afterwards. I'm not Nostradamus. I can't predict the future. I just put myself in an optimal chance to win because it broke, retested a momentum trade that was live yesterday in the room, right when it retested, there's your arrow, and look at it, got smoked. It got smoked really hard. So you have to put yourself in a chance to win with either a momentum trade or a retracement trade. All right, we don't trade all arrows. We don't trade all Fibonacci's absolutely worthless. Symmetry dots are absolutely worthless. Market delta is worthless. Market profile, same thing. We want to get the trend of the market first. Then we want to find either a retracement trade or a momentum trade. Retracement trades are easy. Opposite color candle gets a trend chart. Once you see that, watch your, watch your sim dots and your Fibonacci arrows to fire on the five sim. If it's all red all the way down, red, red bar, red bar, red bar, red candle. That's okay. That's okay. Good. We know all the algorithms, all the professional traders. All the banks, hedge funds, prop firms are marking the market down. Good. Let them. Let the counter trend traders get smoked. We're going to let it break, retest symmetry, or we're going to let it retest our smaller MA and bar and fire a Fibonacci arrow. And that's how we do it every single day. So if I look at today's action, it's the same as yesterday. It's the same every single day. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, if you go to the last five videos on recent videos, and you play those last five videos in the last couple weeks, you're going to see the exact same setup every single day. It's either going to be a retracement trade or a momentum trade every day. Any market, whatever you look at, I don't care what you look at, you pull up those two trades and look at them on a week-to-week -week basis. And only look for those two, and that's it with the trend filter. Because you're either going to catch the wrongly positioned traders when it closes the opposite color candle here, we're three for three, since 4 o'clock this morning, or 4, I'm sorry, 4.40 this morning, you can't screw that up. Those are the, those are the counter trend traders, a big green candle, big green candle, counter trend traders, look for the sell retracement, sell retracement, sell retracement. If it ticks back into your bar when it's red and you get a three sim arrow, then sell that. That's it. Okay?